Savannah Guthrie supported by fans as today hosts discuss difficult week ahead. It is a difficult, stressful week for the Today Show hosts and television anchors across the country, with just one day left before what is being hailed as the most important and consequential election our lifetimes. Four years ago, when President Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump in the 2020 election, it wasn't until five days after Election Day, on Saturday, November 7, that he was confirmed as the winner. Now, though there is reason to believe the final projection won't take as long, before some busy, sleepless nights ahead, Savannah Guthrie is sharing an encouraging message with fans. Savannah took to Instagram on Monday and shared a photo with a hopeful message, the words, May we love as you love, displayed on the exterior walls of a church. She then wrote in her caption, going into this week like, alongside a yellow heart emoji, and her fans and colleagues alike were quick to take to the comments section under the post with words of support. Her co-star and good friend Jenna Bush Haver, whose twin sister Barbara Bush recently broke away from her family's famed Republican politics and endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris, wrote, I love that song and that church and you. Others followed suit with, praying for you. Presenting news with honesty and integrity is harder than it should be these days, and the anxiety is real. Almost like there is no good outcome, or at least no outcome without unrest. Just praying for peace and love and kindness and reason, as well as praying for our country and praying for you. Savannah and her Today Show co-anchors, including Al Roker, Hoda Kopp, Craig Melvin and Carson Daly kicked off their last broadcast before the big day discussing the latest election news. They went into detail about Harris and Trump's final push, as their correspondent Peter Alexander reported live from Philadelphia, in one of the most, if not the most, important states for either candidate to win the coveted 270 electoral votes, and where Harris is closing out her campaign. The anchors also discuss the gender gap among voters and how it could be the deciding factor in the election. Hoda reported that new polling shows Vice President Harris a historically large lead among women who say reproductive rights is their issue. That most recently manifested itself in the famous Selzer poll that came out of Yawa Saturday night, which predicted a surprising surge among senior women and independent women and a three-point lead for Harris over Trump in the typically red state. 